that point that you made when you talk about it was like a manifesto I was reading during the week, but you talked about being weird as a teenager is generally good. I love that because every, so many te teenagers think they're weird, yeah. right. and, and even if they do, I, I feel that you're right, they should embrace that. Yeah, it's an authentic position for you to take. I love it. <laughs> yeah. That's authentic. Well, I think, um, you know, uh, uh, it's so easy to feel um, like, uh, uh, and look, don't, don't get me wrong, um, uh, I, I was very lucky where uh, a lot of the people, you know, I went to secondary with, I'm still friends with, and actually the, the first uh, a programmer I ever knew in person uh, was this guy in the year ahead of me in Castle Troy in, in Limerick. Uh, his name was Daniel, um, and uh, uh, and uh, you know, I was whatever, 13 at the time when I met him. Uh, and Daniel then set up Stripe Japan, uh, okay. and now you know today he still leads Stripe Japan, right? Great, and so right. Uh, I, I don't want to kind of. Um, uh, you know, kind of when talking about teenage years, make it sound like you know it was anything other than um, uh, very fortunate. However, you know, when, you, when you're in secondary school that, uh, or kind of going through your sort of teenage development, the people you're around and the kind of you know your peers and all the rest and and the. Um, the plans that are being made for you, yes. they're kind of people who've been sort of chosen by others, you're thrust together through circumstance, and you, know, you, don't necessarily, you don't have a whole lot of agency, you don't get to choose most of the subjects, you don't get to choose the way you work and all the rest. And so there are people, you know, and this probably applies to many people you know, even here in the audience, where you, know, you had proclivities or inclinations or you know, dreams and all the rest, and you wonder you know, in school, um, sort of, can I pursue this, or should I just kind of get normal, or be interested in sort of the standard things and so on? And by the time everyone's you know thirty um, uh, or you know, even into your twenties, you realize actually that's totally fine. But often your your kind of horizons don't get broadened that way until a bit later. And so I think, I think it's important to tell the folks you know you ten through twenty. To be weird. Yeah, you have to be confident enough to be weird in, in those years.